Leo. Welcome to your double bonus video, Career and Intimate Tarot. Love it. It's nice for me because we get to switch up the energies and look at other areas that are important to our lives. Absolutely. For those of you who are new, thank you. Welcome to the channel. My name is Christina. If you'd like to catch up on some old uh, Career Tarot and Intimate Tarot videos, they are nice and neatly labeled in playlists, yeah? But welcome. All right. Show me that Leo energy. We will start with your career tarot reading. If you're not interested in that, uh, I will clearly segment them off for you in the comments section for your intimate tarot, so you can just jump right to it. All right? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please, for career finances, employment, Leo, career finances, employment, Leo, career finances, employment, Leo, what's going on? Oh, two of swords for some of you who cannot see. There's something here that's blinding to you. There's a question. There's a hovering room of I don't know. I'm not quite sure what's going on. What is going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Leo energy. Career, finances, employment. Career, finances, employment, Leo. Show me, Leo. Okay. Current page of swords, inquiries. Looking into something, investigating. Some of you are job searching, but you also might be going through a learning phase right now. Small forms of communication. Some of you might be caught up in emails, social media, things like that. A lot of micro-communication for some of you. Okay, let's keep going. Advice, advice, goals, king of swords, hmm? make decisions. So some of you are just getting slammed with communication at this time. Your advice, tackle it, deal with it. King of Swords, just make decisions. Make decisions and then also be your ultimate communicating selves at this time. I know some of you are going to be tempted to hang back, put off those emails, put off those contacts. Some of you are having to do contact outreach work right now. I don't know where it's coming from. And it sucks. I understand. <laughs> I don't want to be doing that. You know, I know. But you got to deal with it, babe. You got to deal with it. It's under your goals and advice. Take care of it. You can approach things. They're both under the sword energy. This is the smallest house you can play with. Page of Swords. This is the ultimate graduation of that same energy. I know some of you are like, I don't want to deal with these emails right now. I don't want to deal with these micro decisions right now. I don't want to invest in my communication right now. Mm, mm, -mm. No, Bobby. It's under your advice and goals, King of Swords. you got to deal with it. Now, you don't just deal with it. You deal with it to the best of your abilities and proficiencies. I wouldn't be seeing it unless it was legit advice. So I know it's tempting to hang back, minimize communication, answer yes or no. I, I will give you as much information as I have as I know at this time. I'll follow up with you in a week. Be, com be more commanding than that. Communicate. Why? I don't know. But if it's under your advice and goals, there you go. Some of you, FYI, you work in events, three cups. Social gathering, and for some of you, you're putting off networking. You know, I understand. I understand. Now, as the king of fire, king of wands, fixed fire, you are much more capable of this than a lot of people, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you enjoy it. So for some of you, you're putting off networking, specifically the communication, building bridges, building connections. Now, it might be that there are timing aspects here, but your advice says mm, you might need to amp it up. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's see. Strengths. The wheel, willing to make changes, looking forward to changes. That's good. That's good. Okay. For some of you, simply you want to increase the bottom line, the profit margin. Get it in the black, right? The wheel of fortune, as it applies to career, expanding fortune. Literally, for some of you, the finances. So again, if we want that to be the case, we really need to amplify our communications. Make decisions with thought, intention, Action. Thought. Intention. Action. Be our most king of swords selves. Act swiftly. Right? Oh. Okay. Obstacles. Issues. Blind spots. Ten of cups. Don't know why that's coming up. I don't know. We shall see. Sometimes the personal aspects do leak into our lives and I'll tell you why. Why does Carrera show up in the love readings? Why does love show up in Carrera? Well, because they're all very important aspects to our lives. That's why. Inevitably, there's overlap. I'm going to see why this Ten of Cups is showing up under your issues, blind spots, obstacles. We'll see. I don't know. 
It could be that you're not terribly happy in the career context in the terms of the equilibrium at work, and it may have nothing to do with home. We will see. It may, some of you might work from home as well. It's not really the idea, and if it is, I'll see that too. I'm terribly curious about that. It may not be that things are emotionally harmonious at work. We shall see. Okay, the outcome, chariot, movement, good, 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 movement, momentum. Some of y'all are going to get real busy around cancer season, so that's June, July. Some of y'all are going to get real busy come summertime. Mm-hmm. And like I said, for some of you, it's a networking thing, meet and greets, putting out your communications, right? Being effective communicators, networking. And for some of you, it works in events or some sort of social aspect. All right, let's break it down. Excuse me one moment. Let's break it down. Which one, please? Show me which one. Show me which one. Oh, by the way, that's not anything bad. That's not... <laughs> That probably looks dramatic. It's not. This was, um, I was testing uh, makeup samples from Jeffree Star, and his stuff worked really well. Really, it it worked so well. Uh, the swatches that I had on here, it's been two days, and I've washed my hands about 200 times, and his makeup still hasn't come off. I love Jeffree Star, I do. Um, his stuff works really well. <laughs> But there, I forgot. I was like, oh, I better dress that. That might look like a bloody mess on camera. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. And the great the Jeffree Star is not just a fantastic YouTuber. He's uh, He makes excellent product. He does. Um, hashtag not sponsored. All right. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please. And he's a Scorpio. Oh, he's like the most Scorpio I've ever seen in my life. Show me what I need to see, please. Some of you have recently, I like this, on the split that got my attention right away. Three of Pentacles to the star. Some of you have started on ground zero with your star pathway. Hell yes. Keep at it. Keep at it. Make something your own. This is literally, the translation is literally making something my own. This is how I envision it. This is how I start. I'm going to make it mine. Hell yeah. All right. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please, for that Page of Swords. Show me this Page of Swords, please. I know some of you just like, you open that email inbox and you just kind of go, <laughs> Leah's like, I'd rather be doing. Thank you. I know, I hear you. Oh, I know. There's just some days we can't bear it. All right, show me this Page of Swords, please. What's currently going on? Oh. Oh, I know you're trying to take care of business, grounded, practical. I know some of you have a method to your minor communications. You know it's the pra that's good. It's some of you literally work from home. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, this is homestead energy. So for some of you, yeah, absolutely, you work from home. That's pretty easy, you know, given our current environment. But yeah, some of you work from home, but th that's not really the point. Um, the communications are coming from a practical place. You seem to have a good measure of it. Okay, uh, what else, please? What else, please? I feel like this is leading up to something. Some of you are very resistant, though. Very resistant. So you're kind of nine of wands. Some of you are just so exhausted. You're so exhausted on staying top of these communications. You just wish you could put them off. Don't get me wrong. You're doing what you need to do with that Queen of Pentacles energy. I know I have to be productive. I just don't want to do it right now. <laughs> I know. I know I got to answer those 50 emails. I know I got to catch up on my social media. I know, I know, I know. Page of Swords and Career can often be the social media stuff. I know I got to I got to do it. Here. Here you go. You know, and it, resistance. Resistance. I put it off. You know you got to stay on top of it, honey. And I know you have a method, too, with that Queen of Pentacles that suggests you're comfortable with it. But it's going to, you're going to need to amplify with that King of Swords energy. This resistance to getting the micro-communications and shit done. We got to amplify that. I know you have a comfortable pattern here with the Queen of Pentacles, and I know it feels like it works for you, but your advice is King of Swords, Leo. You know, get on top of that communication, be commanding, make decisions, do it now, not yesterday. Do it now, not yesterday, because the Queen and King of Pentacles, they're not exactly known for their speediness. <laughs> <laughs> Comfort level, yes. Do you have a rhythm? Do you have a method? I'm also going to take a wild guess and look at Leo who puts shit off in terms of that communication or their calendar shit. If I'm not trying to pick on you, honey. Your advice is literal. Take it from a page of swords to a king of swords. Yeah. Excuse my tummy, I'm starving. 
I do forget. I don't know why. I forget to drink all the time. You know what it is? It's the coffee. I drank the coffee and it's like, hey, you don't need to eat. <laughs> That's me right there. I don't need to eat. <laughs> I put it on. And then my stomach makes a fool of me on camera. There you go. All right, some of that King of Swords, please. Some of that King... I don't need to eat. I've had coffee. I don't need to eat. What food? What's food? No. Which is ironic because I love food. I love to cook specifically. Show me that King of Swords, please. The goals, advice, goals, advice, King of Swords. Show me that King of Swords, please. It's time to amplify some of this King of Swords. He's kicking ass. He's taking names. You know what I'm saying? All right. Five of Pentacles. Okay, look. We can't afford the break in communication. We can't. We can't. I don't know why that's coming across so strongly. But you can't afford breaks in communication. You really can't. There's something here that's requiring your attention. I don't know what it is. Okay. This is not the time to slack off. It's time to amplify. You must know that. Okay. Uh, I don't want... There, there, there's an aspect here of something might be missed. If you don't have your, your best hat on. Okay. What else, please? And uh, for some of you... There you are. See? Told you. Strength. You cannot afford breaks in communication. I don't know why that's... Why is that Eight of Wands underlying it? You cannot afford a break in communication. You have to be commanding of this. I don't know why. Especially if you're in contracts. What is that? You will be losing some folks. You will be losing some contracts for some of you. Something's not signing. Someone's not signing. Someone's not signing. Some are preventable. Others are not. You need to amplify your communication. The status quo is not going to work here. Whatever has comfortably worked itself out in the past will not be like that this year. I don't know where that's coming from. Whatever has comfortably worked itself out in the past will not be that case this year. For some of these things that are lost are the people who are thinking to opt out or walk away. I was told to say opt out. For those who are opting out this year or walking away or not participating, a couple of them are preventable. Others are not. Okay? You need to amplify your communication make decisions. There will be some that you do have to part ways with. I, I don't know where this is coming from. There will be some contractors or something like that that you have to walk away from. It's beyond your control. Others you will be able to prevent. Assuming you're using your best skills and workable knowledge. Okay. I'd be at the forefront of your... I'm telling you, honey, don't slack on that communication. There might be loss. I know you're trying to minimize it. You're not enjoying it. I'm just warning you. I'm seeing the markers that are directly tying back to communication. There might be loss. Financial or otherwise. Contracts or otherwise. Okay, so you have to be strong. Stay on top of that communication. Making decisions. Compromise. Working with people. Because if you do those contracts, then you, the, somebody's looking at you to replenish it or fix it. You understand me? The fix it energy is coming for you. From you, not around you, it's from you. Okay. So start back here now to prevent more of that damage. Get out of that exhausted mode. I won't deal with this. I have a comfortable method. I answer my emails twice or three times a week. No, baby. Time to kick it up. Time to kick it up. Maintain your communications, amplify them, something like that. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune, we want to increase our fortune, yes? We want things to work out well in our favor. I know. Your advice, your goals are very, very straightforward and very indicative. Your strengths... Oh, excuse me. One more time. So I'm telling you, you might be prepared to let some go folks too. Let some folks go as well. There's some you'll not be able to prevent, others you can. Regardless, you're going to have a role in replenishment. So I would start amplifying your communications now. Make sure you're checking in with the people who you need to check in on. Make sure they're still on the same page with you. <sighs> Trying
try not to treat your communications as such an afterthought or such a burden because people can pick up on that, okay? Some of the Wheel of Fortune, King of Wands, that's you, that's better. Yes, I know you want to increase the finances. I know you want to increase the prosperity of whatever it is that you're doing, the job, the function, the work, the career. I don't, I, you're, that's there, that's not an issue. It's literally under the strengths. You want to bring in more, so honey, you're going to have to do more. And that communication is imperative. I don't communicate more efficiently. It's not It's not just what you say, baby. It's, it's how frequently you're saying it. Okay, there's something here about the pacing that's not working. It's kind of half-assed, but it's comfortable. Not an accusation. That's what I'm reading today. It either resonates with you or it doesn't. So don't be offended where there is none intended. That's how tarot works. Real tarot over life. Okay, so I know you want to improve the finances. I see that here. What can Leo do? Well, other than this, Six of Cups, be generous. Be generous with your time. Okay, gift giving, donations. Show more that you care with your connect. Six of Cups, connections, your contracts, especially people you've known a long time or you have worked with a long time. Be generous with your time with them. Invest in them because there is this kind of lack of connectivity here that I'm seeing. Okay, so you specifically, Leo, show that you care, put more in, that way you can receive more out, especially for those people that you've known a long time, whoever that may be to you, um, friendships or people that you've worked with a long time, because you can develop absolutely six of cups within a working environment, you bet, you're there long enough, absolutely, so invest in those people who want to invest in you, and make sure it's coming from a personal space, I appreciate you, I appreciate your work efforts, I like working with you, I like collabing with you, something like that, and be generous, the six of cups is generous. Be generous with your time and your real attention. Not the King of Swords. You're Leo right here. That's you, baby. King of Wands. Be generous with your attention. And then that way that Wheel of Fortune will turn more in your favor. So don't neglect those people who are closest to you or contribute to the work efforts. Okay? Make sure that they know that they're appreciated because this right now, not working. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. There'll be some folks you, you're going to lose. Or that you have to let go, and there's no choice in that, but some can be prevented, yes. With it, too, is a sense of financial loss, so let's be wary of that, okay? Because I can tell you right now, you're pulling kings, so I know that you have a lot of say in this scenario, this context. It's going to be on you to replenish or fix the situation. So, be your most charming self, king of wands. Hmm? Be your most charming self. Be your most intense self. Show your sincerity and your passion, especially for those people that you've been working with a long time. Especially if they're in a position of volunteering, or they're helping, or they're supporting. Okay? People who give up their time should be appreciated, not underappreciated. Something like that. Okay? We want to show more effort, more effort, not less. See? Okay. Um, speaking to a Leo today who's in charge. So let's... You know, and if you're Leo, it's like, they need to show more to me. Uh-huh. Well, I'm seeing you, energetically speaking, that needs to give back to the people who are closest to you, or you're very familiar with, or you work a lot with, or people who freely give up their time, energy, and efforts to contribute to your fortune. That's where your generosity needs to be. Okay? I can see that you have a lot on your plate. I don't dispute that. I don't argue that. But you must take care of others so that they, in turn, will turn around and help take care of you. It's an energy exchange, the Six of Cups is. And it's coming from a natural loving uh, space. There is some contract stuff here that is out of your control, but for some of it you can prevent. I have to tell you that. I want to see this. Oh, excuse me. Which one? Show me this Ten of Cups, please, for the issues, blind spots, obstacles, what's going on? Now, there might be in the overall work context an emotional balance that might be absent. It could relate back to the home space. We shall see. If it does get into the personal level, I'm not going to dive too much into it. Show me the Ten of Cups, please. But I will, of course, note it because real terror reflects real life. Okay. I just saw the Fool with the Three of Pentacles, but for the most part, many of you are trying to generate strong foundation energy. I'm going to make this my own. I'm going to give it my natural spirit and energy. Just don't neglect your connections. They are precious and fundamental to this operation. Show me. Show me this Ten of Cups energy. Show me this Ten of Cups, please. Issues, blind spots, obstacles. Show me this Ten of Cups, please. Show me this Ten of Cups, please. 
Issues, blind spots, obstacles, Leo. Ten of Cups, issues, okay. Knight of Swords, okay. What else, please? Five of Swords. Mm. Your energy is trying... <laughs> Your energy is trying not to take something personally. It's not. I see your energy is very commanding. It's very much in charge. A lot falls on you. I get that. I think you understand the points where we need to pick up the energy pace, right? But there is an energy here I don't care for. I don't care for this. This might be someone in your work environment or someone who directly ties back to your home space. I don't know. You get to determine that, not me. It could be the Ten of Cups, the overall emotional value in your workspace is being met with some negativity or opposition, or it could be coming from a personal space at home as the Ten of Cups sometimes, yes. It's in the issues, obstacles, blind spots. You are trying to take action, I believe, towards someone who is showing very little effort. It seems to be taking away from your energy. Substantially, you do not see this coming. I will do a time check. April and May might be very strong markers in this respect because that's where the action seems to be stemming, is April, May. There's someone here who is not pulling their weight. I see a distinct lack of support, disinterest. I don't know why. Um, I see you trying to take action towards it. I don't want them to take too much away from your time, energy, and efforts. That might be one of the reasons why you pull away a lot is because someone else pulls you away. So that would explain a lot right here. If you have a practical method to your minor communications and they're like, I, I, I have to put it off, I'm tired, it could be that someone's pulling from you in a negative space. I don't care for it. I see you trying to take action towards it. It doesn't feel good though. Four of Cups to the Five of Swords. It, it does feel like a draining energy. So it's either that person at work that you often feel like you have to take action towards to make sure they're on their game or it could be again coming from a personal space at home someone who pulls from your attention negatively so therefore your work connections are affected to some extent because that nine of wands is curious it is exhaustion it seemed a bit much for the situation but if someone's pulling on your energy negatively I could see where it would affect other forms of your communication as well so I don't know where this is coming from it feels like a support job, one that you're not terribly happy with, but you're used to taking action towards. So it's either that person, I feel like there's always that person at work. It's coming off as a singular energy, okay? As opposed to multiple people. They are time consuming, okay? And they take away from your time. Uh, you can't devote, <laughs> that's your current situation. You're going to have to devote less energy to this person who clearly is taking from you. Or it, it's distraction energy, honey. It's distraction. And it's either personal or that one person at work, like I said, who disrupts the emotional balance in an otherwise harmonious workspace or an otherwise harmonious home space. But somebody here is energy is a distinct distraction, and I see it distracting you. When you put attention on it, and it never seems to be satisfied, it's a little sulky, and it's a little manipulative with the Five of Swords. It feels like a distinct, repetitive behavior pattern that you take action towards, but you don't seem to notice it. The reason why I say you don't seem to notice it is because it's under the issues, the blind spots, the obstacles. And if it's a Four Cups, it might be a repetitive behavior pattern. I see you taking action to it like it's an old habit. But someone there is always sulky. They never do their job right. They don't support right. Or they're never appeased. Your energy gets distracted. And I feel like your current stuff gets affected because of that exchange. All I know is that it has a large concept tied to it with the Ten of Cups. So it's the overall work emotionality. Or it's a home thing. Could be an unsupportive partner. True. But there's this, I don't know what that is, but it distracts you. It distracts you phenomenally. Every time you have to jump to or feel you have to jump to to stabilize this person, it pulls away from here. So I'm seeing these two being tied. Your energy output here. I would say that's so unusual for you. Your energy output here 
get sidelined by this. As a FYI, I don't want to get into it in case it's too more on the personal side. Just know it's there. And I see it taking away from your energy because you have this response rate, response rate, response rate. And it's it's repetitive. It's sulky. For some of you, yeah, it's personal. Um, and it just it feels like it's not satisfied. This happened before. Like when you put too much attention to work, that's when they start to get like that. I don't know. I don't know, honey. Some people can't be left alone to their own devices. There you go. You know? There you go. Two and two. Two and two. April might be important. Some of the chariot, uh, I do feel like your energy, though, is moving forward. That's good. Progress into what? Let us see. Or it just might be a simple time reference to um, energies hitting stride, a Cancerian season, which again is uh, June to July. Show me the chariot, please, as the outcome. Show me the outcome, please, as the chariot. Show me. Show me the chariot, please. Show me the chariot, please. Show me the chariot. Oh, three of wands. Oh, you're looking forward to it. Oh, look at that. No, you're looking forward to it. Your energy is looking forward to it. Good, 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 good. So there's a goal. You're, there's something here that you're literally looking forward to in terms of the chariot emotional energy as well as physical energy. You're going to be quite busy, but you anticipate it. So that's good. So this is not unknown to you. So this, this is good. This is anticipatory. You, experience, you expect some serious movement strides in terms of your career around June, July. So you're going to hit a huge energy stride around there. I'm not quite sure what it is, but you're actually looking forward to it. Uh, it's something about I'm moving forward in this goal or in this career. Yes, you are. I am sorry. I am sorry. Okay. That I was going to say this is so unusual for you. I can kind of see why now someone's, it's, it, it feels like there's this someone specifically around you that drains you and pulls your attention away from what really is important. Um, it might be playing out here. There are some contracts and things or working connections you're going to lose. Some will be preventable, others are not. I just know that the less attention you can give this situation, the more your dedicated energy goes up. Okay? Foster and nurture those connections that are so generous in giving because they give back to you. You come out in your own King of Wands energy and it helps increase your own fortune. In other words, the more success of whatever it is you're look, literally looking forward to around June, July will increase exponentially when you nurture those uh, connections they give to you. Okay? Uh, generously. <clears throat> that concerns me a little bit. These two are tying. They're tying. These two concepts are tying. When someone pulls away and you respond to them. It, it's something here, but I don't like that. Anything else, please? Anything else, please, about these uh, two chariots? Can I get something more specific? You're gonna get, there's some recognition energy here too. Very strong recognition energy for your energy and efforts for whatever it is that's coming up. Your career or whatever this is, is really hitting stride around early summer, early midsummer. Um, there's, a, there's recognition attached to it too. There is. Seven of Cups told you, July, I'm just seven, seven, seven. So seven is an excellent number, by the way, for career. There you are, underlying. Excellent, nice to see you. Yeah, so not much is happening now. So use this time to cultivate those connections. Make sure you're on top of them. That will help prevent any sort of contractual loss. Amplify your communications, please. But other than that, whatever it is you're looking forward to around summer, it seems to be coming to fruition. July keeps coming up, and you are literally looking forward to whatever this is. So, it, it feels extremely external to you, and there's a lot of public recognition attached to it. I'm not quite sure what this is at all. There's a lot of movement. Some of you, you're relocating your headquarters for work. It doesn't feel like that kind of... It, 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 it's recognition. That's all I know. It's recognition. It's visibility. And some of you will actually have a better sense of direction after this, whatever this is. You're waiting for June, July to play out, and then you're actually going to know what it is that you want to do. Or you will have a better understanding of what the sun is. Okay? 
some of you uh, work in events for once so that's very specific bringing people together festivities um, parties things like that that's why I say that you can see the four of wands is always the celebration okay so that's why I say events it's the gathering under banners happiness okay um, so your energy I'm starting to see a particular flow here heavy connections for you around April heavy connections for you around April and then your energy really hits stride around July June July that's where a lot of the recognition is coming from I'm sorry this energy is taking so much away from your energy and it is taking away there are some things that you may not see that they're related or how it takes away from you it is there I see it just please know it uh, continue to foster those connections that are very close to you or that you've been working with a long time that will help change your fortune for the positive okay uh, ace of pentacles see that's what that's what I'm saying so be prepared for cycling out of contracts I'm telling you right now be prepared for some some you cannot prevent I've seen it there are some that you cannot prevent but there's others that you can if you are on top of your communication and if you are on top of your contract work and if you're on top of making decisions and backing them up with action okay you're gonna have to be strong show confidence in these communications show confidence where these people that you're working with are showing insecurity or uncertainty you don't show that you show confidence okay because some of these folks are cycling out there is it feels external will it affect the ace of pentacles some will some won't you will gain new connections in this process and that's where that can excuse me connectivity is coming from in April okay making or forging strong connections in April to kind of supplement any sort of losses that's very specific that's just what I'm getting honey um, but yes, there's some that are preventable, others are not. Okay, let's, uh, what else, please? Okay, I didn't mean this for good. I didn't think it was that long. There it is, high priestess. Anything else, please, for that Leo energy? Anything else, please, for that Leo energy? That's you, King of Wands. Right there, what about it? What about Leo? Ace of Wands, good, good. Whatever you're involved in, it has some creative elements to it. You need to show your best fire and intensity for it. Show more, not less. Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, Leo, honey, is what sells people. Okay? Enthusiasm is what sells people because enthusiasm is infectious. You have to remember that. So when you are working with people, you need to show this Ace of Wands energy. I am fired up about this. This is my cause. This is my belief. This is what we do. This is how we do it. This is what I'm about. People love that. They connect through enthusiasm and sincerity. Um, I can see there are times when you have to work analytically and factually with folks, particularly as, again, it I keep using the word contract. I'm sorry, but that's what I keep getting. There are times when you have to be that way, but there's the more enthusiasm you show, okay, the more you increase your fortune. Um, people are going to want to follow a way of light when that way of light is secure and strong in and of itself and knowing itself, okay? So, show more, not less, right? There's times when you're tempted to hide your energy or it does genuinely get distracted. Um, but there, the emperor, okay? There you go. The emperor, be boss. Be boss. If you have areas in your chart, use it. People are looking to you to make decisions. People are looking to you to lead them. They want you to lead them through your enthusiasm. Through that sense of direction. And I know what I'm about. I'm an ace of wands here. I'm the king of wands. I'm the emperor. I decide things. Okay? It's that confidence we're talking about. Uh, anything about this ten of cups, please, that Leah needs to be aware of? There's a distracting energy around you that's kind of unhappy and sulky. And you seem to react to it often, like a reflexive twitch. It does pull away from you, unfortunately. And it does seem to curb your energy to respond to what needs responding to. So if this is an underling that's a problem at work, they need to be under someone else's assignment because you got other things to do, you got bigger things to do. If it's a personal space, think about that. 
that's coming from a personal space, someone who's not supporting you, or that um, page of swords, someone who keeps their eye on you, or they're not contributing enough, or they're not communicating enough. Knights of Cups. Mm. There's an emotional attachment. It's specific. It doesn't have to be Pisces, but it might be. Okay. I, it, it's coming from a personal space, so I don't want to keep exploring it. That's not why we're here. Just please know that it is coming from a personal space. Let me know if you're dealing with Libra. There's some Piscean energy here as well. Someone who is exuding that Ten of Cups value, unfortunately, um, there's something around their energy that feels kind of small and it's communicating and it can be kind of demanding sometimes and it doesn't seem to be terribly happy. It's coming across a little sulky. Okay. Um, for some reason, it seems to be effective enough that it's influencing your work. Okay. And it's there. I see it. And that's for some of you, not all of you. But for the most part, I see many of your, your energies concentrate on those new connections on April. Make sure you maintain the relationships you have. Build new ones effectively. Do so with enthusiasm and creativity, but also a sense of I'm in charge. People need your security. They need your security and that sense of confidence and direction. That's what they're going to thrive under, okay? And then uh, your energy is literally looking forward to June, July. It is literally looking forward to June, July. There's this sense of I'll know what I'm doing by then. You know, or I'll have more energetic output by then. I wish I could hone in on that for you. I just see successful elements of future markers. Okay, so if that helps you, I hope it does. Put it in the comments. Now we're going to switch over to your intimate tarot. I'll see you there. And now, welcome to your Intimate Tarot portion of the reading. Again, if you're new to my channel, you'd like to know why I read Intimate Tarot, specifically sexual energy, that'll be in the description box, yeah? All right, what's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Leo sexual energy. What's going on? Show me Leo, please. Show me Leo, please. What's going on for Leo? Show me Leo, please, and that sexual energy. Show me Leo, please, and that sexual energy. Show me Leo and that sexual energy, please. What's up? What's going on? Recent past, the Hierophant. Mm, you might have some Taurus in your chart. Could be dealing with one. Uh, committed energy here. Spiritual energy as well. Okay. Relevant past. Some of you are in strong commitments. Okay. Or that you still are. We shall see. Okay. But straight out the gate, we got some strong energy here. All right. What's the current situation? Nine of Wands. Hmm. Okay, some difficulties here in that sexual energy, some tension, all right? <sighs> Battle of wills energy and our sexual energy, likely in a commitment. We shall see how far it goes, okay? It could just be that you're straight up to the Taurus, or again, you have some strong Taurus in your, uh, your chart. So the Nine of Wands, where this tension is coming from, possibly blockage, we shall see. In fact, let's take a look at that right now. What's crossing you? The Three of Coins. Mm. Mm -hmm. Some of you are not feeling too friendly towards your person right now. At least your sexual energy isn't. Okay? I need to see more of that hair font, where that's coming from, what's going on there. Okay? But yeah, some of the, your, your sexual energies aren't feeling too friendly towards the other person right now. We're going to see why. we got some blockage here. Trying to work with the other person. Three of pentacles, but they may not necessarily be cooperating with you. They may not be too generous with their sexual energy towards you because this is crossing you. This three of pentacles is crossing your tension, your fire tension specifically. So someone may not be so cooperative in the relationship or very giving with their sexual energy. Let's keep going. Who is surrounding, which is interesting then because we have a page of wands, but it's not a lot, right? Mm-hmm. We're already hitting some nails on this particular head, yeah? Page of Wands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone is surrounding you is not showing a lot of that fire energy. They're not. Someone. It feels like someone's not giving their best or they're being withholding. Okay. You two might be in a place of combativeness with your sexual energies. This is why one of the many reasons, many, many reasons why I read sexual energy. We act like it doesn't play out in our lives substantially and it's separate from us and that's just not true. Okay, this is one of the reasons why I see it, and I see how it plays out in and of itself within one person, never mind between two people. The complexity of our sexual energy is such that it affects us as individuals as well as between two. This is how it's meant to be. Okay, it's one of the reasons we're here, honey. It's one of the reasons we're here. We're going to see what's going on. Your strengths. 
Wheel of Fortune. You're willing to change. Okay? You're willing to increase the desired principles. You're willing to try new things, okay, in terms of your sexual energy. You're willing to try. You're willing to make things change. I see that. But is someone surrounding you, are they cooperating? Because I do feel their energy is kind of small. You know? And they may not be compromising or working with you too much with that three pentacles crossing. Going back to the drawing board, finding things in common, what it is that would please you both. I know that you are exuding a nine of wands, chronic, I keep trying, and you keep getting blocked, or you're tired, or you feel like there's constant sexual tension that's not really alleviated, something like that. Obstacles, king of coins, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, does not have to be. I don't know why that would be an obstacle. I'm not quite sure. We need to see why. I don't know. I need to know. King of Pentacles, I don't know what's going on here, but it's household energy. Things might be very difficult at home. Hopefully there's not issues with the finances, but yes, when things are not terribly stable in the home, that can affect people's sexual energy too. Again, another reason why we're here. Mm -hmm. It's often what we experience as the domino effect or a triad. You affect one thing and it ripples out and affects other things. If it's feeling like there's instability in the household, there may not be much inspiration there to just kind of feel free with the sexual energy. We shall see. The future. Three cups. Connecting or reconnecting. We shall see. Okay. But it's nice to see a little pickup of energy there. All right. There could be new connections. Underlying. Mm, see. Okay. Okay, honey. Your underlying is very telling here. Very telling. Very, very telling. Oh my, yes. Sacrifice, Hanged Man, Ten of Swords. So, <clears throat> excuse me, in this deck, the Hanged Man is called Sacrifice. Some of you feel like you're in a position where you have to uh, sacrifice your sexual energy and it causes you pain, or your sexual energy is constantly suspended or not shared or not reciprocated or appreciated, okay? And it causes you pain to suspend it. It's not like you're happy about it. It's not like you're enthused about it, okay? But I do see someone's energy as being kind of... I'm going to tentatively say withholding. And I say that just because we have a concept of uncooperation crossing your energetic efforts. Three of Pentacles is crossing your Nine of Wands. This is not cooperating, okay? They're showing towards you a Page of Wands. Not much effort in the Passion Arena. You know what I'm saying? Strength. There you are. You're trying to hold back from fighting. Okay. I can see that the, there's this there's this part of your energy, Leo, honey, that says, I, I, I'm trying to be complacent. I am. I'm trying to not put so much attachment into my sexual energy, but it's not going over so well. And do you know why? Because it's not what you want. You don't want to be complacent or suspended from your sexual energy. You're fighting yourself, fighting possibly with the other person. Could be a sexual tension of wills between you two. Maybe not much is said at all. I don't know. I don't care for it. Neither do you. And you're right. You know? Now, I think at all times, realistically speaking, if we're looking at a marriage here or a long-term relationship, because the hair font can just represent that long-term relationship energy. In other words, it's still commitment, regardless of there being rings or papers. You understand? Regardless of those things, we're looking at long-term commitment. In any reasonable expectations of a relationship, yes, we all go through lulls and periods where there's just not much sexual activity. And there's a God knows how many reasons why. But this is fairly ongoing. This is looking fairly ongoing. I know that because your current situation suggests chronic issues. And that's your passion and intensity right there. Your fire sign. This is a little different for you. Your intensity is here, and your efforts to try are also here, and you often feel blocked with your sexual energy. Perhaps you feel like you are the one that's blocking it. I don't know. I need to see that King of Pentacles and the obstacles. Okay, especially if you have some strong Taurus in your chart. We'll see what's going on there. But your underlying was very telling, and I wanted to point that out. Some of you... couple of thoughts here. This also caught my attention. This is kind of like a background thought for some of you. Some of you are thinking about investing in something else that intuitively feels correct to you. Let me know if you, Scorpio energy here, but also for some of you, 
Page of Pentacles, a realistic investment in something that's starting to feel intuitively correct about transformation. Okay, it might be time to invest in transformation or change, change that will actually stick. Okay, all right. Let's start breaking it down. Let's see it. Let's do it. Let's jump into it. I'm here for you, Leo. What's going on? Your problems or my problems? Let's take a look. What's going on, please? Show me this. <clears throat> oh, voice, don't fail me now. I got work to do today. Show me. Show me what I need to see, please, for that Leo energy. Show me what I need to see, please, for the Leo energy. Clarify, Leo, please. Clarify. Show me this hair font. Show me the hair font, please. Show me the hair font. Show me the hair font. Show me the hair font. Show me the hair font, please. Show me that hair font. Show me. If I, I knew I was... God dang it. I knew it. I saw it before I pulled it. Or dropped, I should say. I knew it. Dude, I saw this flash and I knew I was going to pull this for you. I freaking knew it, man. Five of Wands. Tension. Yes. Tension within the commitment. Arguing within the commitment. If you're a single Leo and this doesn't resonate with you at all, I get it. I totally understand. Hopefully you can take something away from it. You might have some experience with this. Okay, but if it's not yours, it's not yours, so don't accept it. But I am looking at relationship energy here that has some difficulties attached to it. Uh, that Five of Wands is feeling very external to me. And it's also internal because you are a fire sign. So it is both within you and from outside of you. Your sexual energy is tense. Okay, and it doesn't feel satisfied. It does not feel peaceful. The Hierophant, we must remember, as strong-willed as he is, and as well-intended as he is, is also a soft presence. Okay, he's not loud, and he's not demanding. So when I see a Five of Wands crossing him, that, that's, that's very foretelling. Do you have any idea what it takes to frustrate a Hierophant? <laughs> okay. Your energy is restless, very much so, and it's not just from within you, it's outside of you as well. There's relationship energy here that's on edge, very much so, sexual or otherwise. It's affecting the commitment. Yes, it is. It is absolutely, this is why I read sexual energy, honey. And, oh, yes, some of you are starting to seriously contemplate cycles here. How long has this been going on? Is it always like this? Is it always going to be like this? How many times have I reopened a cycle with this person? Am I getting close to closing it? What should I do? For some of you, these are realistic thoughts. I knew, I knew, I knew that Five of Wands was going to pop before it dropped. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry that there's so much tension where there should be peace. Six of Pentacles is on the sideways where there should be peace. The balance is disruptive. Somebody's energy is not reciprocating and it's combative. Now, there may not be fighting and screaming. The hair font's not really into that. The hair font's not into drama. No, no, no. Somebody here wants the peace and tranquility. Part of that is having their sexual energy met. And again, it's coming from within a relationship context where it should be safe and safe to be explored. The other person is not maintaining or helping to maintain the balance, hence where the tension is born. So again, if you're a cross-watcher who's offended by this, I don't know what to tell you. It's either true for you or it is not true for you. Somebody here is experiencing unsettling energy where there should be price, uh, excuse me, peace and tranquility. Someone is not feeding the balance. There is an imbalance here. Okay? And it has to do, there it is again, that King of Pentacles in this context is attached to that Knight of Wands, so I know someone's feeling it. Okay? There's a disrupt in the balance and someone's not giving to the situation and it's causing pain. It's relevant past and it seems like it's ongoing, so this is concurrent or this is a past behavior pattern that does not alleviate in this relationship I'm looking at, yes? Show me this Knight of Wands, please. Show me that Nine of Wands, please. Show me that Nine of Wands, please. For, okay. The Hermit. Let me know if you're dealing with Virgo. For sure. Also trying to heal, of course, our sexual energy. Trying to get on the same page with our sexual energy. Show me this Nine of Wands, please, for Leo. Show me this Nine of Wands, please. 
there's frustration here. And like I said, the hair font is not yelling and screaming, but there might be some arguments here. A lot of it snipping, backbiting, and it's coming back to this place of sexual tension. Someone is not balancing their side of the equation where their sexual energy is concerned. They're being stingy or withholding, or they're just not into it, except they never seem to be into it. You understand? Show me this nine of wands, please. Show me this nine of... Oh, oh, oh. There it is. This relationship energy. Aries the Osage. Here's that hair font energy again. The household energy is not, it's disruptive. Where there should be, the King of Wands is all about embracing his passion, know what he's determined by, what he's turned on by, what he is feeling with full intensity, where his best fire can go towards the household. It is disruptive, it is argumentative. Okay, and with another energy here, of course. Let's narrow that down. Can I get a stronger impression of the Nine of Wands, please? I need to see more of the chronic. There it is again. Again, let me know if you're dealing with Hermit. It's hard. It is hard. We're trying to heal this tension here. Okay? We are trying to peaceably work with our person. We're also trying to patiently wait. You, Leo, specifically look like you're trying to patiently wait out your own particular sexual energy. Just telling yourself to wait, to wait, to wait, to wait some more and to heal some more. Okay, that you're just in this particular place with your person right now. Like I said, we all go through these energies. It's not for lack of manifestation or wanting more, but what else can you do? If you're in a relationship where you feel you cannot express your sexual energy, many of you have chosen to wait to give it patience and to try to see things from the other person's perspective. Okay, to try to heal. All right, so you might have some Virgo on your chart. Again, you could be connecting to one. What else, please, about this Nine of Wands? I, I can tell that you've been through this before with this person. Yes, that's exactly my point right there. You have been through this before with your person and you have often been able to come out the other side with them, okay? It does feel like it's taking a while. It does, you know. The 29th might be important to some of you. I don't know why and I don't know where that's coming from, but I just see 29. The 29th might be important to some of you. So yes, this has been going on for a while. There it is again, the contemplation of the cycle. How many times has this happened? How many times has this particular cycle opened and closed and opened and closed? This is cycling. I can tell it's been ongoing. Okay. Um, let me know if you're connecting to Aries. Fellow Leo, Aries, Leo, Virgo. And like I said, some Taurus here as well. Okay. Yeah, you, you've been through this before with this person. And you've pulled through with this person several times over, but it does feel cyclic, okay? Your intuition has told you to wait, to be patient, to wait, to be patient, to wait, to be patient. They'll come back around. You're trying to keep that fire energy in check. You're trying to keep your sexual needs in check, that kind of thing. Trying not to be demanding, trying to understand your person from their point of view. Again, that Virgo energy or Hermit energy in this deck. Contemplation of the passion, trying to understand the other person, what they're experiencing. The Three of Pentacles is crossing you. Uh, someone's not cooperating so very, very much. Let me know if you're done with Gemini. Show me this Three of Pentacles, please. Crossing, crossing Leo. Show me this Three of Pentacles, please. Crossing. Not too much cooperation here, or they're giving off way too much friendship, acquaintanceship vibe when you should be in a relationship that's workable, okay? And there's a compromise here between energies. There isn't. That does concern me. In fact, it's kind of combative, all right? That Six of Pentacles on the sideways and active arguments about, um, I don't need to contribute to the sexual energy or something like that. Or I don't have a balance or uh, picking fights instead of making love, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Somebody would rather use their fire for arguing, okay, because that's the expression of where they're really at as opposed to making love, that kind of thing. Someone would rather have a fight or be pushy-offy or rude or dismissive as opposed to giving their sexual energy peacefully and with reciprocation. Show me that three of pentacles, please. Yeah, it's that person. It is that person, my love. I'm sorry, real terror flicks for life. I gotta say some real shit now, okay? All right, here we go. So if, if this does not speak to you or you were hoping for something fun and light and happy, again, real tarot is real life. I do the real shit, okay? 
So I'm about to drop some hard shit right here. Three of Pentacles is crossing. This person's cutting off way too much friendship, acquaintanceship vibes, but also non-cooperation vibes. It is the Ten of Pentacles. Again, that relationship commitment energy, Eight of Cups, they are emotionally unavailable. So their sexual energy is tied back to their emotional energy. And because this person is emotionally unavailable, therefore their sexual energy is too. But they are with you physically in the real world. Okay, so if you were Leo who was like, I'm looking for that, and some of you are looking for that, and I understand that, and I respect that, and given that's your underlying, that's a possibility. Ace of Cups. There might be an opportunity for new love, but if you were hoping for happy sunshine, you know, fun, flirty stuff, again, real person, real tarot. We'll see. Let me see what's behind this Ace of Cups. You wish the love would be easier for a start. Many of you go into a place of reminiscence about when the sexual energy was easy. More so in your quiet space. This is interesting. Four of Swords. When you go into a quiet space, a soft space, a meditative space, a checkout space, something that is safe to you when you have some downtime, you daydream about doing love. Understandable. One that is easy and fluid and very accessible. The Ace of Cups is the largest cup. Accessible. Something that's quiet and easy and accessible. I love that I can actually feel, not just look at. I can drink from it. I can touch it. I can get all up in it. In your quiet moments, in your quiet thoughts. The idea of it makes you feel very good. It makes you feel very good. It's a soft space. <clears throat> and it's like a reminiscence. Something that crosses your mind. And some of you are trying to heal yourself to an idea of new love. Or work your way into it. Or work your way up to it. I understand. The premise is here. The premise is here. If someone is along for the physical ride in the pentacle world, three of pentacles, which is non-cooperative, it's on the sideways, too much of a friendship vibe, where there should be relationship energy. And there is relationship energy here. Ten of pentacles, hair font. That's, that's pretty straightforward. That's commitment energy. Okay? That's a long-term relationship, regardless of papers and rings. That's long-term. And you've been through this with, before with this person, patiently waiting to come out on the other side, patiently waiting for them to come, and trying to see things from their perspective, trying to keep your old fire energy in check. Part of it is anger and frustration. Yes, absolutely. Because you know, a part of you knows, Leo, or feels that you know that it should be accessible to you in a way that's fair. You know, it may not be wild, it may not be over the top, but by God, it should at least be fair, and I agree with you. And here's why. You can't force someone to show you sexual energy. You can't force someone to show you love. But if that's what you signed up for, and what they're showing you is not what you two signed up for, of course you're going to be angry. People change. People change. So too is their energetic output. This person's emotionality is clearly attached to their sexuality. The reason why they're not showing you sexual energy is because they themselves are emotionally numb. But they're in it with you with that Ten of Pentacles energy. Okay, so of course it would make sense then that you go into this space of quiet reprieve where you softly think about an Ace of Cups that you can access and it makes you feel warm and it makes you feel good. <sighs> Let's see this person. I, I already have a pretty strong impression of their energy. I hope you do too because bless you, I see you back here trying to patiently correct yourself for your fire energy instead of contemplating more about where they're actually experiencing. You seem to think if I just wait it out, they'll come back around. And I'm sure that's been the case before. But if someone's emotionally numb, their sexual energy is going along for the ride. If someone's emotionally unavailable, if they have walked away emotionally, but are still with you in the physical world, this is the results they're showing you. Okay, so I would like it if you stopped assuming so much responsibility. To show this person patience and consideration. Because I don't know what they're doing. Let's take a look. What are they doing? What are they doing to heal the situation? What are they doing to learn about themselves? You seem to be assuming a lot of responsibility for this person's perceptions and healings and things like that. Some of this page of wands, please. Some of this page of wands for them. On the split, I saw the Nine of Cups to the world. Yes, what gives them pleasure? The idea of what gives them pleasure has changed. 
clearly. Page of Wands, show me the Page of Wands. Are they disconnected from themselves spiritually? Do they understand their sexuality is connected to their spirituality? No. I do know this. Because of this emotional absence, straight away explains this. It's the reason why the sexual energy doesn't feel fair, because it's not. Um, they're too emotionally numb to experience the sexual energy. Okay. Uh, page, I know this looks like the Knight of Wands is actually the page. It's, it's a little confusing, but it's the page. It's the Page of Wands. Show me this. Let me know if you're dealing with an Aquarius. How so? They're trying to heal themselves. That's interesting. That's interesting. King of Pentacles over here in the obstacles as well. Show me the transition, please. What is this? They stress about it a lot. I see this person trying to heal themselves towards you. I do. They seem to perceive you as this King of Pentacles energy. Or that's who they are. Perhaps they themselves are the King of Pentacles. I don't know. The first energy says it applies. You have to tell me who's who. But somebody has a distinct marker of a King of Pentacles here that's leaving the impression. But what I'm seeing here is that they want to heal. They want to be more emotionally available. But the thing is, okay, there is mental stress and anxiety about the loss of feeling. Five of Cups. Someone here has a loss of feeling. They're upset about it, and they're regretful of it, and they want to repair it, but not enough energy is devoted to it. It's page of wands. There is not enough energy here dedicated to the real cause. It's more like... Um, I am acutely aware, I am stressed out by the fact that my feelings have changed, and, and I know I should want to do more, I know I should want to wish and hope for more, I know I should wish to heal and to be more emotionally available and to be more intimate, I know that, I know that, somebody's getting really tired of waiting. Um, I know that, there, it's a struggle and it's an energy contradiction. They have the correct concepts of theme, of overarching theme, but not enough is being put into the bigger concepts. It seems to get drowned out by noise and confusion, particularly about the pain. Nine of Swords to the Five of Cups. It's more like anxiousness about the loss of feeling, anxiousness about the loss of feeling, anxiousness about the loss of feeling. Um, the emotionality has clearly changed for this person. And I see them struggling to get on board with a higher understanding or a bigger pathway. But it's being executed on a page of wands. There's not enough thought or curiosity about how to bridge these gaps. There's not enough action or curiosity of understanding about how to heal this situation. I really need to see this King of Pentacles photo. Seems to be a core concept here. I would like to see more from this person. I, um... They're like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm aiming myself, page of wands, I'm aiming myself towards healing. I am. Mm, the output suggests differently, it's not enough. Big concepts, small execution. That always makes me nervous when I see that. They do have big concepts, but not enough invested into it. It gets drowned out by the muck of noise for the loss of feelings that I don't think that they've come to terms with. In other words, they don't really know. They have an idea, but again, there's that thing underlying here, the cycle, so they're aware of this too. But again, the output, I should invest more in healing. I should invest more in this relationship, the steadfastness, because my dreams, my goals, I'm pretty convinced, I'm pretty sure they're tied to this King of Pentacles. I'm pretty sure this is my wish and my dream. I need to keep myself tied to it. I know I should show more emotionality towards it. I know I should. You know, this is what I want, right? This is what I want. This is the relationship I want, so I know I should experience more in it in terms of feeling and sexual expression. I, I know I should. This is my dream. This is my dream situation. This is my dream stability, this King of Pentacles. This is, this is my dream. The stability, the household energy, 
right? Uh, it, it's it's reliable. I know this is what I want, so I need to show it more appreciation. I know I should. I should show it more appreciation. I know I should, but the execution is quite small. Page of Pentacles. I was told to look. Some of you have begun to invest in a new Wheel of Fortune. Let's take a look. Show me what I need to see, please. This Wheel of Fortune, 9 and 9 energy, September might be important, but they're also negating each other. The principal concept of independence and freedom of self and knowing thyself and then functioning within that knowledge, blocking. So you are aware of your energy. I know you are. You would like to express more of yourself in this way. You know this. And you also feel like it's your job to wait patiently for this person to sort their shit out. Mm. If you are in a cycle with this person, I need you to ask yourself if it has worked in the past. Because I don't... There's this idea of I know I should. But not enough initiation behind their energy to show more or to do more or to take active strides in healing. There's this idea, I know I should want this because it's stable. I know I should want this. This is my dream. The stability is my dream. It is. And they know they should be more open to it. But it stresses them out, the idea of giving more. Okay? And you don't want a functioning friendship. That's what friends are for, right? You're not looking for that functioning friendship. That's not what we're here. That's not why we're here. That's not what we signed up for. I agree with you. So bless you. You are trying to be patient with your sexual energy, and it's kind of like Leo. This is your problem. You gotta, you gotta heal yourself to it and be patient and waiting for them. Well, I just, I don't want that waiting to be in vain. That's my only concern. I don't want your patience and concept of healing to be in vain if they're not doing the work to justify your patience instead and understanding. I don't know how long this has been going on, but I can tell by your underlying. This is, this has been chronic. On and off, 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 on and off. Show me. Show me the Wheel of Fortune, please. It's literally under your strengths. Are you willing to make change, change for yourself? Two of Wands, some of you are trying to invest in making that decision of change, okay? I know it's also the expressive communication. I know you've talked to this person. I know that you've told them, this is what I would like to do. This is what I'd like to see. This is what I'd like to experience. Do you think you can open up a little bit more here? I see your willingness to communicate and to try new things. And for others, show me this four of pentacles, please. Holding back from what? Your frustration, that nine of wands. Oh, bless you. Like I said, you're doing your best to keep it in check. You are trying to show this person an opportunity to change. You have discussed it. You have verbalized it. And you yourself are trying to hold back. You are, again, this is magnificent of you, honey. And I love this and I appreciate this about you. This shows foresight, foresight and consideration, thoughtfulness. I love this about your energy. Your nine of wands, your sexual frustration and your anger, knowing that you are not being well represented, in the relationship, at least here with your sexual energy, it does ties back to this person's emotionality or rather lack thereof. But here's, you are being, I gotta be patient. I gotta be patient. I got. I know this. I know this. We've been through this before. Question is how many times, Leo? I know you've been through this before. The Nine of Wands is here twice under your energy. It's chronic. This has happened many a time with this person. And it is under substantial relationship energy. And I don't like the fact that that three of pentacles is crossing you. That's non-cooperation. Too much friendship vibe and non-cooperation. A real friend would even try to cooperate with you. And they're not even doing that. There's an emotional detachment and dedication to household. I see that. So that's nice. This person clearly has dedication to household. Even their energy says, this is my hope and my wish. The stability is where I want it. So I know it's my responsibility to open up. But the idea of it stresses me out. This person's feelings have changed. Or they're in a space of regret and they don't know how to own it. And not enough. Not enough. You know, the dedication to the household energy is here for this person. I see that. But where's the emotions and where's the fire? Anyway, 
I apologize. So four pentacles to the nine of wands, holding back from that frustration, trying not to let it show that you are open to change. You've had a direct conversation with this person about what you're willing to do to make them happy. How can you get them to open up and share with you more? Okay, you are trying to refrain from that nine of wands, the frustration. I'm looking again at a Leo that you have a very strong sense of patience and waiting and knowing with this person. You don't want to argue. You can tell that's caused tension before. And you can also tell it's not helping. True. So again, I hope your patience and understanding of this person is justified because I don't see enough of them. There's this idea of I'm committed to the cause. This stability is what I've always wanted. And I should show more gratitude towards that stability. Yes. <clears throat> but there's too much pain and anxiety attached to each other about exactly that question of opening up. I don't think they want to. That's something they need to come to terms with. King of Pentacles is in the obstacle. Show me, show me, show me, show me. I know that you want this person to be comfortable. You don't want to push your sexual energy. You don't want to push your frustration because that would be coming from a negative space. Again, I'm looking at Leo who's very insightful and knowledgeable about these things. Come to the King of Pentacles, please. I know, I know, and you're right. People should come to you of their own right, wishes, wants, and accords. I know, I agree with you. So what happens if they don't? What happens if they don't wise up? What happens if they don't shake up? What if they continue to withhold and not show you the reciprocity you're looking for? That is the question. I can tell you've done this before with this person. Show me the King of Pentacles, please. It's the obstacles. Obstacles is King of Pentacles. Show me this. Ooh. Okay. I know I saw this person's dedication to household. I knew it. How so? Okay. They have a point of contention, I believe, about the home space. There's something here that they question about the stability and happiness of home. Even if it's not a financial thing, they question the stability of it. Somebody does. Okay, but dealing with Scorpio, we have some Virgo here. Mm -hmm. Somebody is really trying to work through that place of independence. How so? Somebody is trying to show dedicated effort towards working in their independence. I, I have to agree. How so? Dedicated efforts towards what? Dedicated efforts towards what? Okay. I do believe it's you, Leo, as you, ex as more as you, the longer you stand up in that effort to change, okay, I do feel like uh, you're showing more independence of self, okay, you are being very reasonable, but you have to understand that reasonability has limitations as well. There are two energy signatures here, complaints, there are two, I guess you could say, complaints about this relationship. There is an accusation, accusation here about the lack of strength or stability of household. The Four of Wands is tying to death, tying to that King of Pentacles. Somebody does not feel like the stability is the way it should be or where it was or there's a complaint. I see the other person, whoever that is, committed to the Pentacle concept. They do seem to be. And I'm like, I, I'm all about the stability and I want for that and I wish for that. But somebody's feelings have changed. And there might be an accusation here that the household is not what it should be or once was. Something like that. There's a lack of dedication principles surrounding the household energy now, and it seems to be that there's a complaint that perhaps it's not like it used to be. I don't quite know. Somebody's energy, and I do believe it's theirs, is more dedicated to the pentacle concept than the concepts of the, well, what we're talking about, emotions and sexuality. And if there's an accusation here that the stability of household is not what it was, or it's no longer strong, or they quote-unquote no longer feel it, or... Because here's that thing, man. The King of Pentacles keeps showing up for this person, but not enough. It's like, I, I, I should hope and wish for the stability. I know I should open up more to it on that principle, but... <sighs> There's a stress here about the emotional loss. 
This person's feelings have changed and it directly ties back to the household. Perhaps they don't have as much faith in it as they used to. I don't know, but that's a really severe accusation. And I don't care for it. I don't care for it. Things change. Things in the household change. That's just the way it is. But, um, there is not a happiness or equilibrium of household here. There's this idea of it's not as strong as it should be, or my relationship is not as strong as it should be. And yeah, we're talking about transformation here. And I do believe, Leo, there's going to come a point where you're exercising so much patience for something that will not change. Especially since you've gone out of your way to offer it and try to include the person as much as possible to incorporate healthy concepts of change. You've done it many times, and I applaud you for it. You've had conversations with this person, patience with this person, refraining, refraining, refraining your tension, your sexual energy, your frustration, your anger, giving them an opportunity to initiate and engage to show change that's healthy and positive that they want to see. But the thing is, honey, they don't know what they want to see. I know they want to be secure. I know that. That's come across several times. I know they want to be comfortable. But something about that aspect within them has changed and they don't quite know how to take ownership of it yet. So you need to have stuff in place because what you want is fair and it's correct. And if that's what you signed up for in the terms of your contract have changed with this person and you've given them options and now you've run out of options, what happens next? Okay, there is this concept here. The more you stand up for change, the more independent your energy becomes. You yourself are changing by design. And it's a good change, I must say. The more you stand up for change and defend it, okay, about what it is you want to see in your relationship, not just your household, but your relationship too, the more too do you become independent. It's quite wonderful, really. The idea of household for somebody is changing. And what is a strong household? What is a strong commitment? Stability is all well and good, but does that necessarily make it a strong connection? Does it make it a strong commitment? The answer is no. Of course it doesn't. You can be stable all day long and be unhappy too. And this person is unhappy. There's this idea they know they should want for more or try to do more to heal the connection, but I don't know what they're doing. There's not enough introspection here. And too much reliance on personal happiness equals safety instead of love. Never mind the sexual energy. This obviously goes well into that. Three of Cups. Yes, I have every reason to believe the Wheel of Fortune's here twice. I also believe you're going to put it off as long as possible. Um, but I will say this. The more you advocate for change and you have open discussions with this person to try to make them comfortable when you try to refrain from your frustration, the more so too does it change you. You invest more in your own sense of independence and sense of self and what it is that you want Nine of Pentacles. I couldn't make that any more clear. The more you, I guess what I'm trying to say, advocate for change, the more you realize or you are preparing yourself for change. I know you think it's about them and helping them open up and what it is that they want, but honestly, the more you advocate for change, the more you change. And it's into a state of independence. You want more than just the committed household energy. Okay. <sighs> And Three of Cups is your outcome. Show me this Three of Cups. This one? Numbers on the split. Six of Wands. Show me this Three of Cups. Show me this Three of Cups, please. The outcome. You will be investing in a new Ace of Pentacles. Damn, Gina. Damn, Gina. And no, look at you go. Oh my. Oh my. Some of you will be taking action directly. Knight of Swords to a Queen of Cups. Someone who has an open heart space. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, doesn't have to be. Someone who is a healer and who represents an Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles is viable. Very strong. You will be investing into that shortly 
after. Yeah, that's a hell of a switch. But it's also one that I think you realize again, and this is not an overnight thing. I can't stress that enough. Guys, you don't see the bridges and gaps and things like I do. Okay, so I try to point it out as much as possible. This is not an overnight thing. You're giving this person time. The Wheel of Fortune is changing. What you don't know is that the more you advocate for change, the stronger you become. The more independent you become and detached from this idea of a stable household isn't cutting the mustard for me. I need more than that. You're investing more towards your own sense of freedom the more you advocate for change and the less you see change in this person the more by the way nothing else changes in this household the household refuses to transform as death or simply you're quote unquote just not feeling it anymore because they aren't they're not doing enough they're not they have this idea of I should be appreciative of the stability but not much more than that the idea of giving more emotionally stresses this person out literally Love shouldn't be like that. The idea of showing our person, our partner, love should not stress us out. You know that. And there's something about the household that has not changed or will not transform. And that is over in somebody's estimation. I don't even know if it's about a stability thing at this time, but it's a refusal to transform or to change in a way that's healthy or productive. Okay, i got to wrap this up. Anyway, the more you advocate for strength, excuse me, change, the stronger you become. You will be investing in a new relationship shortly thereafter, after the transformation. Some of you, it's quite directional. You will meet someone sooner rather than later. Uh, there won't be any hesitation in that particular energy. It's quite fast. I've seen the Ace of Cups for you a couple of times. So those of you who again are wondering about new love, yeah, it's here. I've seen it a couple of times. You've been contemplating it before with that Four of Swords. It was in a quiet space. Okay. That's quite strong. Very action-oriented, too. Someone who is a healer has a very strong sense of intuition and a very strong open love space. Wow. Let's do some time checks on this. So, again, I know this looks easy because I'm throwing down pieces of paper, but you have to understand this is concepts of time. This has been going on a long time. I'm seeing multiple cycles with the same person. It never really closes, and it never really opens. Not in a way that's productive, nor does it end. So I can tell that you've been doing it with this person a long time. This person has a lot to work out, and that's your point. You give them multiple times and opportunities and chances for growth and change and conversations, and they don't commit to change, or it's very temporary. And you are trying to refrain from that frustration because it's kind of like they give you a little bit to work with you walk away you check in nothing's changed you have another discussion they give you a little bit more to work with again I should show gratitude and thanks and appreciation for the stability but I literally the idea of showing any more emotion to this stresses me out again love shouldn't be like that and you know this um, again nothing's changed there is no transformation here except for you when your individual energy breaks off okay uh, it starts to break away. The more you ask for change, you yourself become more independent in knowing what it is that you want. I see you actively working towards this and investing in the concept. And then in your future outcome, you will be making a new investment. A solid one, too. Ace of Pentacles has very little confusion attached to it. I feel like I feel like you know exactly where your energy is going, <laughs> as I saw with your underlying. I feel like some of you know exactly where your energy is going. So let's do some time checks, please. <clears throat> critical timelines for some of you that is simply your birth season or around August or mm, July August okay show me what I need to see please critical time frames only show me what I need to see please what's going on show me critical time frames only for Leo oh show me what I need to see please for Leo critical time frames only March might be important I do see the Three of Pentacles here. Ah. For some of you, in summary, the Fool with Judgment, it's whenever you decide to make that decision. Literally. The Fool has no timing reference. It's literally zero, so that does not mean tomorrow. That means whenever he decides to take the journey. That is his decision. It's a scary thing to walk outside your front door. You have to be willing to walk outside of it. So whenever... You heed the call, and judgment is a call. It is a calling. Whenever you, Leo, heed the call for a new chapter and a new leap of faith, when you feel it, you're going to feel it. 
So it's entirely 100% conditional upon you. One day the strong's going to become the call is going to become unbearably strong. And whether or not you choose to leave the front door is again your choice. So for some of you, when you heed the call, if you do, because that's a choice. Okay. But one day it's going to feel so strong within you to take action, to start anew, to see things with fresh eyes, to appreciate your sense of independence having pulled through this. Okay, where are we here? This is Three of Pentacles. For some of you, there might be some significant energy around March, July, seven weeks from now, puts us in about, oh hell, mid April as well. Okay, anything else, please? We also have 37, which 37 adds up to 10 October. Also, one. Like I said, some of you, your energy picks up remarkably in July. Okay. Will your energy start to go outwards and pursue new opportunities and love within life? Okay, it's more exploratory and your Knight of Wands energy is more open and free around July. Okay. It will pick up substantially for some of you, like I said, July. And then also whenever you choose to heed that particular call. Because there will become a pinnacle point of your energy where it feels the desire or the drive to change. Okay? Okay, Leo, I hope this was helpful to you. Put it in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.